Hey, Brazers, how are you guys? Foodie is live right now. It is titled Chicken Pot Pie Dinner in My Room. I'm going to check it out, and I figure it's safer if we go together. So let's go ahead. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love anyone else? You can't. And that never made any sense to me. I really? always thought, what? I love everyone more than I love myself. So of course I can love. No, they don't mean that. You no. What they mean is that if you don't know how to love yourself. Right. You cannot you do not know how if you do not love yourself you cannot know how to love anyone else thank you foodie beauty thank you for that now also you have to start with yourself and fall in love with yourself because right now it's clear you're not in love with yourself and you're accepting what you think you deserve and the way you're treating yourself is teaching everybody else the way to treat you so yeah just to let you know we both didn't know how to because we both have problems in our own self that we just can't keep taking out on each other. Like, you have to, like, be okay in your own situation before well, you can that ever... and foodie, two people in addiction are just going to bring each other down. You aren't bringing each other up. One isn't going to lift the other out of the hole you guys are digging. Seriously, one is not going to lift you out of the rock bottom that you're digging for yourself. You have to get better on your own. He has to get better on his own separately. It's never going to work with you two together. Just to let you know. Do you know that being a loyal, responsible, wholesome partner is a whole thing? It's like a big deal. Yeah. And it's not just something that you can just do. You can't just be like, yeah, I'm a loving, faithful partner. And you have to be it. Right. It's called using actions instead of words. Because at this point, well, I know for me, listening to you, your words mean nothing to me anymore. So you could say what you're going to do. You could say what you're going to change. But unless you're putting action behind it, no, but there's no point in me like worrying about you or bothering to get upset because <laughs> you're all talk and no actions. And yeah, you can't just say, I'm faithful. I'm loyal. I'm the best partner in the world. No, you have to show your partner every day you are those things. If you value yourself, you don't accept bullshit exact if you don't value yourself you accept to be treated like shit exactly right wayne gumsky rose bees i it's so funny to me she's acting like she's just heard these things for the first time in her entire life and she's so shocked that these are real things it's unbelievable to me no wayne gumsky we're having okay what let's get some moscato what's tomorrow i'm not oh, doing no. anything tomorrow do we have to? How much money do I have left? Probably not enough. Let's not. In my budget. I don't think it's a good idea. Sarah said, might as well just drink sugar. True. All right, let's go to real time. And we're here. Nothing's changed. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, on a dark desert highway said, if she starts talking about how beautiful and sexy he is i blame all of you me too me too um if someone said oh tracy said no she is only drinking wine now because Dee, Dee drinks it right let's see peace will go get it for me i'm getting moscato three big bottles of it Jeez. let's have a bees night tonight your liver is gonna cry i'm not drinking white wine because Dee, Dee drinks it you kind of I take on, do you know this about yourself? You kind of take on other people's personality traits. And this might have to be a thumbnail. Woo hoo. All right, let's watch some more. Like a couple of times. <laughs> it's not like I was like there a long time, like enough to form a habit from it. You know what I mean? Foodie. Oh, sorry. Well, for all the beezers who get blocked tonight. Oh, gosh. Stinky said D cosplay LMAO. Oh, no. Let's see. Chet said, you were mean to me last time. Undeserved, LOL. Okay, well, let's see. All right, let's go to real time. We're just a couple seconds behind. Ride, bitch, on your rascal. <laughs> let's see. You guys are mean. I really wish you wouldn't drink. <laughs> I know I can't control it, and there's no point in me getting upset over it, because if she doesn't care about her drinking, why should I, right? Like, 
anything I say isn't going to change what she's going to do. I just wish that she would fix these, get to the root of the problem that's causing these, this need to use substances as a crutch like and it's not just one substance it's whatever it shall be addicted to whatever food alcohol it doesn't matter because she has an addictive personality I just wish she wouldn't I would I wish she wouldn't pick up more habits alcohol is going to put her on a very 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 lonely lonely road and it's not fun you have time to change your mind foodie you what is get, this? You could get a sugar-free Sprite. A sparkling water. Foodie beauty. Oh my god, why did I... You guys didn't even know that my mayonnaise went on my chin? Foodie, you always have food on your face. I, I can't... <laughs> be I can't be bothered with the specifics. Is it mayonnaise? Is it cheese? Is it ranch dressing? Who knows at this point? I can't be bothered with the specifics. Oh my god, <laughs> it looks so gross eating this nashi. Oh, Worms comment. Worm Sheriff said, did you guys watch the MFW DC Media Girl and some other No Chins panel? It was funny. I No, I didn't see it. The mayonnaise got stuck on my chest. Okay. All right. It's really not that funny. It's really oh not. God. Are you okay? <laughs> no. How did I not feel that? I Cesar, don't know. please wear the DC wig and buy a silk robe and a blonde wiglet for knives. You two can be DC and Neg's Canada edition. Are they still together? Um, I, I guess oh, is I don't dead? know. Oh. I have no idea. <clears throat> Booty, you take up most of my YouTube time. Like, I don't get the luxury of going to see who's together, who's not. I, like, I don't get that luxury. Like, you monopolize most of my time on YouTube. <laughs> I'm still entertained. You're entertained? Good. Wait, is that Dimitri? Is this the real Dimitri? Are you Dimitri from YouTube? Oh my gosh, Stanley's comment. I was chilling out, Max, and relaxing all cool, just eating some nashies outside of the school when Dee Dee and Nads, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. <laughs> I had to do it, okay? Even Nags doesn't want to be Nags. <laughs> Is that a wheelchair? Is that the edible that she, oh no. Oh, uh, minty cornbread. <laughs> All right, let's go to real time. And we're here. Didn't miss much, clearly. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, if you got stranded in Canada, I would save you, I guess. Depends if you smell like pea soup. I... Oh. Holly said, R.I.P. Sam's bed appointment tomorrow after all this consumption. Foodie, I beg of you to please take Sam to the vet. Please take Sam to the vet. Like, do whatever you're going to do because nobody could stop you. But please, at least care about your animals. I'm begging you. Lost weight. What do oh, you think? Oh, jeez. No. Yes, Sam's hair appointment. Yes, I won't forget it. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking we should leave before she gets too weird. We'll watch for a few more minutes. Sam at four. I'm not going to forget. Okay. We have our reminder set. Hi, Joe B. <laughs> Beast trigger. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. Thumbnail woohoo. Thumbnail woohoo. Okay, let's see. I, I don't even know I was going to read a comment and then I got distracted. Let's go back. She's in her 20th trimester. You hope they come. 
Hmm. NBC said, how was Sam's appointment? I think it's tomorrow at four. Actually, I know it's tomorrow at four. She just told us. Someone asked what's the next tattoo she's getting. Good question. When, yes. When will I take my weight seriously? Mm hmm. Go on. What makes you think I don't take it seriously? You're joking, right? I want to get something to memorize, memorialize my grams. Oh, that's nice. For a tattoo and my cats. Colleen asked, Give can us I a see date your dress, and exact date. Okay. For one, I'm going to take my health seriously. All right, what's the date today? <laughs> Actually, I would like to give you an exact date. Why not start today? Okay, give me like another month. Bodhi, why not start today? Why not start your health journey today? You could decide not to drink the wine. You can decide no more wheelchair. You could decide no more junk food today. Like, why not start today? If you keep picking a date, that date is never going to come. That date is not going to come because you keep procrastinating and you keep putting it off. Like, you're not going to start until you be like, okay, here, now, throwing away the junk food. That's kind of what you got to do. You eat 50 fucking nashies and 30 twisty pisties a day. <laughs> Seriously. It's not funny. Whatever. You're exaggerating. And no wonder you think I'm unhealthy. They're not exaggerating by much. Am I going to cook them? Colleen said your tattoo looks like a bathing suit, girl. It does. I always see a one piss. A uh, one piss. <laughs> one piece bathing suit. Or it looks like two angelfish kissing to me. I don't know what it's really supposed to be. Hover, I know I want to cover up. That's probably what I should do next, Porch Lady, actually, is get this ugly tit tat covered up. Okay. All right, Pody. Wait, Jacqueline's comment. Everyone's life looks differently. Not everyone needs to be married with kids by 30. Just follow your own path. It's true. Everybody's life does look differently. And we all can't be like, you should have done this by this age. Because to be honest, for some of us, it takes longer than others. But, but she has this ability to put herself on the right path, right? A better path than she's on now. So everyone's life looks differently, but she could also create her own way. Maybe I just want to live my life like this. Is that a problem for you? Well, it's very tough. Do you think I have, like, you guys are so upset that you say I'm wasting my life. So, actually, this means that I have some hidden potential, right? Like, you must see potential in me to be so disappointed that I'm pissing my life away. That's actually promising. Cody, take... that's what you have to tell yourself to make yourself feel better, then fine. Then fine. Look on this. A tramp stamp. All right, let's go to real time. Here we are. Oh no, this is where we landed. Why did you call me corn? I don't know. I don't want to see you pull out the junk on your ear. You guys, we'll check back in with her in a little bit. I hope you're having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you very soon. Bye.